Right, evening, early evening folks, how are we all doing? It's uh, it's time for another review, oh yes, time for another top review. Now today I'm going to be reviewing SP Extra. Now, I did try a little bit of this yesterday, um, I haven't had any today, I've been uh, still dipping into that raspberry menthol, I do quite like it, I know a few of you don't, it does have a nice raspberry smell to it, not my kind of snuff at all. Um, I left my Bordeaux in old Paris at home. I don't have any snuffs in my uh, jacket pocket. I don't remember taking them out, but I must have done at some point. Or the cats had them. I don't know. But anyway, like I say, SP Extra by Toc. Don't smoke, snuff Toc. I will say one thing about Toc. I do like these tins. They have a, a thread on them. And there is kind of a paper seal on the top, so it keeps the snuffs quite fresh. Now, whoops, the base. We have a very, very, very typical Toc snuff base. Golden brown, pretty much same as same as the raspberry menthol I reviewed yesterday. Um, very, very fine, got a little bit of moisture to it. I know a few of you aren't fans of the Toc base, but I find it's perfect for SPs and and fruity scented ones as it is. Um, as I've said in some of my comments, fruity snuffs aren't really my sort of thing. And to be honest, I'm not much of an SP fan. I prefer my more floral kind of scented snuffs. Uh, I do like some menthols, good first thing in the morning, good when I've got a cold and things like that, but it's not exactly my, uh, take this off again. It's not exactly my kind of snuff. But some of the SPs I do quite like. Now is it is it um, Spanish or is it Sheffield Pride? Seeing as these guys are in Berwick on Tweed, I'm going to go with uh, Sheffield Pride on this one. No, 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 no. Um, go for Spanish snuff. Um, so, like I say, it's uh, got a little bit of moisture to it. It's a fairly fine snuff. It's not coarse at all. It's a very, very easy snuff to take. So I ain't going to take a great deal because it did have a bit of a tingle when I took it the other day. So I'm just going to go for the standard pinch and release. So it's a little bit warm, um, it's not sharp at all, it's very very smooth but it is quite warm in the nose. It's got a kind of lovely citrus, citrus base to it, that typical SP aroma. The bit of bergamot there as well. It's citrus and it's got that I call it kind of a biscuity kind of biscuity kind of cereal like aroma to it. A little bit of sweetness there, and it does carry a little bit of nicotine. You feel a bit of a mm, sort of thing. Um, like I say, I think it's probably the same base that's used on quite a few of the Tox snuffs. I know a few have sent some suggestions to me. I've never tried the Quit one. Um, that'll have to be one I try again at some future some future point. But no, the SP is nice. It's 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 very light and refreshing. So very very gentle, a little bit of a tingle to it. But on the whole, it's a very 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 pleasant snuff. Very citrusy. A very say biscuit kind of biscuit aroma. Somebody, a few people have let have a pinch in the shop of this one. Of course, said it's a little bit fusty. I kind of see what they mean. It has that kind of dusty dustiness to it, but I find that with all all the top top snuffs. But for a pine SP, it is actually very very nice. I prefer it to the J H Wilson's ones. Best SP I do really 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 like Best SP by Wilson's. Um, but SPs aren't my aren't my cup of tea. Like I say, I like a lot of the Freiburg and Treyer. I like spearmint snuffs. I really do like spearmint snuffs. Uh, menthols, I can I can take it or leave it sort of thing. I tend to use them for colds and you know giving me a quick pick me up first thing in the morning, um, which to be honest is ideal for ideally what I use menthol snuffs for. It's hedges for when I've got a cold and things like that, and a pinch of crystals or jip, which I'll review at some point as well. So, to summarise, we need to wear the summary hat again. So here we go. Um, so yeah, 
Tox SP Extra. Um, very, very crisp, refreshing, citrus bergamot. I say it's got kind of a biscuity, cereal-y kind of smell to it. There is a little bit of a dusty aroma, but it's only a very, very delicate dusty aroma. I do like the Tox bases. Um, I know a few disagree with me on that, but I do quite like their bases. They go well, they take flavours, they're not too overpowering or anything like that. It's not a very long lasting scent. It's one of those that if you wanted to take it, you would need a big tin because you'll just be taking it constantly to keep that keep that aroma up and going. But um but no, it's for an SP, it's very, very nice. I do quite enjoy it. So Tox X SP Extra. If you like your SPs and you have the opportunity to try this one, give it a try. It's a very, 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 very interesting snuff. So, thank you very much for watching, folks. A six-minute snuff review. Is that short for me? I get confused with snuff reviews sometimes. I tend to still wibble on. Um, this is just a reminder, again, about the um, the British Pipe Smoking Championships. I'm going to keep talking about this all the way up until July. If you want any more information, look in the bucket below. Sign up to the Facebook group. Keep up to date there. It's going to be Sunday, the 15th of July, at the Newark Showground. Um, if you're wondering how to get there from other parts of the country, again, get on the Facebook group, uh, keep yourself up to date. And um, like I say, as soon as I get more details on it, I'll keep letting you know, but I will keep reminding you. So the British Pipe Smoking Championships, 15th of July 2012 at the Newark Showground. We're also going to try and turn it into a little bit of a... Uh, Turn it into a little bit of a YouTube meetup for pipe smokers as well. So if you can get yourself along, you're in the UK obviously, come on along. It's going to be a good laugh. So I'll take care everybody. I'll see you all soon in a bit. Bye.